To work a square knot, you'll generally work two chords over one or more central chords to make your knot. I typically work one chord at either side over two chords in the center, but depending on what you are making or the pattern you are following, you might only have one chord in the center or you could have more than two. But for this demonstration, I will be using two in the center and one at either side. You can also use different colour combinations. Sometimes all the chords may be the same colour, but to make this tutorial a little bit easier to follow, I'm going to use different colours for each of the threads on the outside and the ones in the centre. To begin, you'll have your chord or chords in the centre, and you'll have a chord on either side. So this is the holding chord which you will be knotting over, and these are the working chords which you will be knotting with. A square knot is created in two sections, so you're basically doing two knots to create your complete square knot. So I usually begin by positioning the chord on the left, and this goes over the holding chords like this in a sort of four position. So you will sometimes hear this referred to as a forwards four. And then you'll take the chord on the right, and this one should go over the top of the chord that you've just positioned. And then the end of this chord needs to go underneath where you've got your cross pattern there. So this should go up through there like that and then pull out and over this chord here. And then you tighten to complete the first half of your square knot. To work the second half of the square knot I take the chord that is on the left and I put it underneath the holding chords so it again creates a four but this time it's underneath the holding chords instead of on top. And then I want to take the other chord. This one also wants to go underneath the chord that I've just positioned. And then it needs to go over the top of this cross pattern in the center. And then it wants to go underneath the other chord and pull through. And then just pull up to tighten against the other knot and that is your completed square knot. But if you prefer, you can work it the opposite way around. So you can take this chord and do the first part as I did the first part by taking this chord in a four position, this one over the top of this one, and then working underneath the cross and pulling through. And then some people prefer to work back from the right. So you will take this chord and work it over in a backwards four position and then take this one over the top of this one and then work under this cross and pull out and tighten. So it will create the exact same knot, it's just worked in a different style. So the thing you want to remember when you're doing your square knot is whichever chord you work over the top of the holding chords is the one that is going to show up in the centre. So this is particularly relevant when you're doing two different colours. Obviously it doesn't really matter when you're doing the same colour chords. But if you're doing different colours you'll see that this one that I've got pink on the left is the one that runs down the centre. And the yellow is at either side. 